Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. Judicial Watch targets Samantha Power in new lawsuit against State Department for docs related to unmasking scandal. Conservative watchdog group Judicial Watch filed a new lawsuit against the State Department Friday requesting records on former UN Ambassador Samantha Power relating to the unmasking scandal. Samantha Power reportedly unmasked 260 Americans in her last year at the State Department with zero explanation. Why would a UN ambassador need to unmask hundreds of American citizens? Now via Judicial Watch, it says Judicial Watch announced today that it f filed a Freedom of Information Act lawsuit against the U.S. Department of, uh, Department of State for unmasking and other records tied to Obama's United Nations Ambassador Samantha Power relating to the ongoing investigation into Russian meddling in the 2016 election. Unmasking refers generally to the practice of political appointees obtain, obtaining the identities of American citizens referenced in intelligence surveillance of foreign nationals. The Judicial Watch sued the, date, the State Department after it failed to respond to an October 31, 2017 FOIA request seeking information about Power's unusual unmasking request, including all requests for information submitted to any intelligence community member agency by former United States Ambassador to the United Nations, Samantha Power, concerning, regarding, or relating to the following. Any actual or suspected effort by the Russian government or any individual acting on behalf of the Russian government to influence or otherwise interfere with the 2016 presidential election, the alleged hacking of computer systems utilized by the Democratic National Committee and or the Clinton presidential campaign, any actual or suspected communication between any member of the Trump presidential campaign or transition team and any official or employee of the Russian government or any individual acting on behalf of of the Russian government. The identities of U.S. citizens associated with the Trump's presidential campaign or transition team who were identified pursuant to the intelligence collective activities. Now, in September, an attorney for Trump, Jay uh, Siculo, and his partner at the ACLJ, attorney Jordan Siculo, also his son, broke down Samantha Power's unprecedented unmasking request on their radio show. Now, Jordan Siculo points out that Power's unmasking was crammed in the last few weeks or perhaps days of the Obama administration, which means she was unmasking dozens of people or more in a single working day. Now, Siculo uh, puts Power's unmasking request into context by comparing it to other UN ambassadors of the past. Her number of requests are unprecedented in the history of UN ambassadors who also have the position to unmask, uh, Jordan Siculo began. No other UN ambassador has ever made half of the requests Power made in their entire career, let alone in just a few months. In another stunning development, Representative Trey Grouty revealed to Fox News host Brett Bayer in October that the former UN ambassador Samantha Power testified to the House lawmakers that she did not make all of the unmasking requests that were attributed to her name. So be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me how you feel about this report. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make America great again. Peace.